The Terriers return home to the roof after a three-game road trip to host the Canisius Golden Griffins. BU felt Canisius, at home early on as freshman Tyler two. Scanlon and scored Canisius eight early points off, to give the Terriers a five-point lead. Scanlon will try, and he connects on a three. From Sherbrooke, Sherbrooke, Quebec, although he was born in Germany, as Scanlon hits another three, and BU's lead is now back up to five. Canisius answered the Terriers run the with a 13-0 spurt in the first half, going seven for their last 12 the from three-point range to Bowling end the first 20 minutes, three. including Cassius that? Robertson's three just as time expired. BU trailed 48-35 at the half. And now they'll get a chance for a last shot. Robertson may take it himself. He will from three and hit it with one second to go in the half. In the second half, the Terriers responded, the cutting the deficit down to two as Cedric Hankerson returned to his form from two seasons ago, dropping in 18 right points, now, including Hankerson five from beyond the arc. On Kiefer Douse gets it out to Hankerson, and there's another three, and that's eight unanswered for BU. Okay. Canisius made the plays at the end, including Jermaine Crumpton, who hit this elbow jumper for two of his 16 points to put this game out of reach. Hits a big one. Well, there's your one-on-one -on -one move. There's that MB. The Terriers fell at home for the first time, 87 to 77. Being able to get that lead to 16. Proof for a final time as the Terriers drop to four and five overall with an 87-77 loss to the Canisius Golden Griffins, joined alongside assistant coach Curtis Wilson. And coach, this was a game in the first half. Canisius 48 points in that first half for shooting well, as certainly it's tough to come out of that hole. Well, it pretty much led for most of the first half, except for about six minutes. And that was a big six minutes. They, they built a pretty big lead. And obviously at that point, we had to figure out what adjustments we needed to make for the second half and come out and make a run at it. I wanted to ask you about this team after three tough road games, came in, got that 7-2 advantage. You had to have liked the first few minutes of this game with the energy, at least the way the team was playing. Well, you always like that when you have a lead, uh, especially when you have as, as, as many guys as we have that we could throw in the game. So you're thinking that this team has been on the road uh, for a bunch of games. You know, even though they, they're pretty tough, we felt that they've been on the road a few games, we're pretty deep. You know, let's get some guys in there, rotate them and hopefully wear them down. Uh, and unfortunately, they're, they're a well-coached team. They did a good job of uh, persevering and winning the game. Obviously, it's good to see Cedric Hankerson, who continues to kind of get that confidence back. It seemed like he was feeling the range once again here at the roof. Well, you know what? Ced's big for us. And so, you know, as, as, with, you know, as he's done for us in the past, when he can get it going, it, we usually have a pretty good chance. Um, it just unfortunately tonight, we just didn't have enough uh, as far as stopping them and, and then making some shots. So. Coach, pack your bags. You're heading to Syracuse. Oh, looking forward to it. BU will head to Syracuse to take on the Orange on Saturday at noontime. That game can be heard on the Terrier Sports Radio Network.